D Diablo 6? What year is it? Ladies, gentlemen, and herodrum of all ages, it'd be nice to say there's been an abnormal amount of news and discussion surrounding Diablo 4 over the last couple of days, but that just would not be accurate, because there is so much going on around this game just constantly. There's lots to talk about, but not an unusual amount by any means. First up, we have an interview done by a couple of people at Blizzard about Diablo 4, a tweet from the president of Blizzard itself about new Diablo games and how soon they will be coming, responses about the possibility of a loot filter being added into the game, information on a hotfix that actually just hit last night, some info regarding Uber Uniques in Season 1 and going forwards, and then finally dev response about a recent player theory about how to change your drop rates within the game. Starting up, off at the top of it all, there was an interview done by Hollywood Reporter with Rod Ferguson as well as Caleb Ruel, the global marketing VP of Blizzard. The funny part of this article though is originally it was published with Diablo 6 in the headline Diablo VI, of course implying 6, needing to be edited after the fact to actually say 4. As for the interview itself though, there wasn't a whole lot of overly relevant information about the future of the game, so much as just discussion about the marketing tactics used for the game so far, which is interesting to read, and how they do plan to do some marketing around seasons as well as we progress, which is something interesting to note too. What we do have is a bit of self-reflection about why Diablo 4 had the sales record that it did, and Rod's main response here was anticipation, based heavily around the fact that Diablo 3 released 11 years ago, which is an interesting comment, especially when put beside this tweet from Mikey Barra, the president of Blizzard as a whole. In response to a tweet about loving the campaign, and just finally finishing it, Ibarra says that he's glad they liked it, and going forward, they won't have to wait so long between titles. Blizzard has a lot more coming to Diablo 4 and beyond. In theory, the most logical thing that he's saying there is expansions probably aren't two or more years away, they're probably pretty reasonably soon. But he also specifically says titles, and he mentioned beyond Diablo 4. Many people are taking this to mean Diablo 5 could be in the works, which to me is a bit of a reach, for sure. I mean, they built Diablo 4 to be a live service game with a long potential lifetime, which is directly contradictory with plans to release the next title in the series sooner rather than later. A lot of response to this, though, was, well, let's say, um, maybe a little bit sarcastic, but also not unfounded by any means. As fun as Diablo 4 is as a game, it is also undoubtedly an incomplete game. For all its good that it also has, it also has a lot of bad. So yeah, it's fair enough to respond to a tweet saying that you won't have to wait as long with, I would actually rather wait longer if I got a more finished game. Then we have a tweet from a player asking about a loot filter, most specifically to just make it so gems don't show up if you don't want them to. After all, there's a limit to how many gems you really want to collect overall, and after a while, they just contribute to filling the screen for no particular reason. The response from Rod Ferguson is that it's definitely a part of their backlog, which implies the system isn't only in consideration, it's all but confirmed, it's just waiting to actually be put in eventually, as they've likely organized all this by priority and simply decided that there were higher priorities than the loot filter, but hey, at least that means that we will have it eventually, which is definitely something. After that is a complaint from a player who has been having worse and worse performance in the game the last couple of patches, and I definitely feel that. It does feel like every time they fix one aspect of performance, another one gets weirdly worse and broken. According to Adam Fletcher, the Global Community Development Director for Diablo, there is a hotfix coming up to address some performance issues tied to some hearts. Apparently, this is actually specifically a malignant heart issue at the moment. Interestingly enough, though, three hours after that tweet, a hotfix actually hit the servers. And sit down, prepare yourselves for this, the heftiest patch notes that we have ever had. Hotfix 1 for patch 1.1.2, fully deployed, miscellaneous further stability improvements. Perfect. Unchangeable. What else is there to say? Further stability improvements, the patch? I mean, I joke, but hopefully this does help out with performance at least a bit. It's just hilarious to me that we can have an entire update to the game, and the only patch note is the tagline they put at the end of every single other patch. Further stability improvements. It's just incredible. Past this, we have confirmation of the first Shaco drop of Season 1, which I believe also makes it the first Uber Unique to have dropped at all in the entirety of Season 1 so far, and been reported at least, which is actually crazy, and if anything, it shows how heavy heavy the player drop-off is from base game to right now. Assuming identical odds, which is actually a bit off as we have more legendary drops now, but it took eight days from early access release of the game to get an uber unique in base game for the first player. It's taken just under a month for the first one after season one opened. That itself implies the players have dropped by nearly 75%, at least the ones who played content at level 85 and above, right? But realistically, it's actually even worse than that. Between the enemy density updates, the extra legendary drops from Nightmare Dungeons, and now bosses as well, our drop chances on Uber Unique have technically just improved significantly because the general drop rate is way up, and yet it still took almost four times as long for a Shaco to drop in Season 1 compared to the base game, for any Uber Unique to drop compared to the base game, which is not a great sign for the current health of the community as far as the actual player base size, but I think we're all aware of why that is and that it was happening, and who knows what will change come the release of future seasons for the game. However, there is a bit more to this. In response to news of this drop, someone asked Adam Fletcher if there was any chance of improving
improving the drop rate of Uber Uniques as it's just sort of sad currently. It's not, oh hey, they're elusive. It's, oh hey, it took a month for literally one to drop for any player on the planet. One third of the season's lifetime for one person to get one of them. There was a response to this tweet simply saying, we have been hearing the feedback on this. I can say it isn't going unheard. Unfortunately, that is a set of words that means very little. Genuinely no commitment or confirmation, only saying, yes, we are aware that players would like this, and then just moving on. Are they changing drop rates? Could be yes, could be no. Fletcher doesn't feel like telling us right now. Then finally today we have a rumor that has recently been spreading around the Diablo 4 community and an actual developer response and confirmation of the actual situation. The rumor then is actually quite beefy, but essentially the claim is the game server scans your inventory and stash and so it knows what you have. Lots of players collecting data showing that better gear dropped earlier on for them. And that in theory, that is because the game sees good gear in your stash and decides to give you worse gear because you already have good stuff. It's a very strange claim and apparently a fair bit of research they had to back it up, but to me that research seems a bit cherry picked and who agrees with me but Adam Fletcher the Fletchmeister himself. Someone specifically tweeted him the Reddit post asking if it was true and he straight up replied, it isn't. Nothing else to say on the matter, just it isn't. And well, yeah, it would be crazy if that was true. It's just way too deep a game mechanic to make sense without us having noticed earlier than two and a half months after game release. But what it does show is a missing understanding of another potential mechanic, at least one that is again rumored by players. Because there's a different mechanic that players noticed about a month and a half ago now that could have a part in this, which is the concept of returning player enhanced RNG. This theory has existed for quite a while about Diablo 4, and while Adam Fletcher has instantly responded about the new theory about the stash stuff, there has been no comment made of this returning player bonus for ages, which makes me think it might actually have some weight to it. Quite simply, the theory is your drop rates are higher on good loot the less often you play. If you take a couple of days off from playing the game and then log in, the loot you get will randomly be significantly better than you might expect for playing the same amount of time. If you make a new character and then get boosted, you randomly get way more legendaries and uniques while being boosted than the people that are actually boosting you. And this seems to be pretty consistent, all leading to the idea that the more frequent you play a character, the worse your drop rates get, or more specifically and probably more accurately, the friendlier way of saying it, if you spend time away, if you take a break, you get increased drop rates on return as a reward. This would also make sense to be a feature too, honestly, as that extra hit of dopamine when you return after a bit and find all that cool stuff instantly could make you keep playing, it could hook you again, which is absolutely what the developers want to happen. All this to say that your stash has no effect on your drop rates, that's been confirmed, your frequency of play might though. And that's it for today everyone, all the news from in the last couple of days, a hot fix, an interview, a number of tweets, and even some comments about future Diablo games, and then just an unsubstantiated rumor getting instantly shut down, but also at the same time sort of giving new life to an older rumor about the loot system too. I hope you've enjoyed this breakdown of the last couple of days of news in the Diablo 4 community, and of course leave your own thoughts on all these topics down below in the comments. Like if you liked the video, subscribe to the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world our stage Is, uh, goodbye